Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a fun use of the Inspect tool in Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I have this web page open, and what I want to do is I want to change the headline on this article. So let's just go ahead and highlight this, and I'm going to right click and select Inspect. And now we'll see all this code open up over here on the right hand side. You don't have to know what this means, although it could be helpful to learn some HTML. But let's go over here where we see the match to the headline and let's change it. And we'll call it the one about timers. Hit enter. And now we see over here that the headline has changed. And so let's go over here and try it again. Highlight, right click, inspect, and we will see that it's been highlighted here. Now let's open up this drop down menu and let's go over here and now say there are lots of fun ways to use timers. And now we have this new text appear on the page. Now it's important to note, this only changes the local copy that's in your web browser. So it doesn't change the actual website, just changes what you see and display on your screen for right now. So I can now hide this and that's what it looks like. If I refresh it, it goes back to the original version. Now let's do a fun version of this. Let's go here to, let's say, ESPN.com and have some fun with one of their articles here. And so let's talk about the Cowboys. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and highlight this, right click, use the inspect tool. That's going to open up on the right hand side. Let's pause that ad that's playing there. And so we see the inspect tool. Dallas Cowboys admit that they're no longer America's team. Jerry Jones to sell and become a llama farmer. So there we have that new article headline. Again, just on this local version. Now the fun thing you can do with something like this is you can modify the page, display it to your students in your classroom and ask them if they can tell if this is a real story or a fake story. And of course, you can also learn a little bit about how web pages work by using that inspect tool as well. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.